So, episode 7 of season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's called Together or Not At All, which makes my Doctor Who loving heart weep. Um, yeah, I'm interested in seeing where the story's going to go now, but honestly it could be just like 40 minutes of Sims making out and <laughs> I'd be alright. Also, baby group mug, best thing I've ever bought, ever. I do push-ups now. Double digits, <laughs> No idea how good it is to see you. You're here. With a spaceship seems impossible. Nothing's impossible anymore. We'll start later. Yeah, there will be pipes. There will be Jen. Oh, oh. oh my god! No! Her intent seems to listen with it. What, 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 what are you doing? Fuck's sake, just let him kiss. There's the ship. Just gotta get past that. Oh no. Wow. Balls. Oh, okay. It was just his cheek. As expected, your priorities are misplaced. What news of the I'm kind of happy about that, though, because I really like him. As a villain. You know, he's an asshole. but... This is the price of hiding in I love this guy's voice. You'll end up dead, too. You'll end up dead, too. We are banging. That's repulsive. I'm you to think. Actress is really good as well. She can say so much with just her eyes. I must appease my brother. Is it bad I'm kind of starting to want those two to make out as well? Everyone make out. Feels good to be on the run. Together. Together forever. Get married. I like that parallel with that together with those two and then with Cassius and um Sonara. Oh me, how oh, sweetie. Kick some alien arse. <gasps> Aww. <laughs> she wouldn't. Who the hell are you? So that giant thought is under the whole mess! You, uh, I am here to get She's you so smart, I love it. I don't like that he stopped at Colson and didn't mention Mac and Yo Yo though. I'm managing. So I know Fitz was like <laughs> meant to just come and save him with him, so I can see why he wouldn't miss him. Oh shit. Oh boy. Seeing them with like a batarang. What's going on? Where is Tess? Just hanging around. Oh, give him a hug. Okay, oh, we're gonna get like fatherly Mac. I love You're it. Always... Two of my trusted generals dead at my feet. Enemies closing in. Oh. Just need them both to go. Uh... So you ran. I'm eager for my man to find the destroyer. Stop making me feel so sorry for him. Shoot your brother with it. Oh, it's so interesting. I might go with him for Halloween this year. Can't be. What is it? Unless I'm mistaken, I hope I know what that's. <gasps> Holy shit! That's a throwback. <gasps> no, no. That oh, fucking needs to get it. Oh, fits. 
just got engaged and then he got shot. Oh, it's a low budget Star Lord. This is the guy that sold me to Cassius. Oh, kill it, he's a I'm a pragmatist. Oh, defending their child. I told you I love it. to your friend. Then you don't look great. Thank you. <laughs> I know you just have I think he looks great. Us. Both channels are buzzing with the news of your escape. I just had to follow the dead body, so let me write to you. I'm just. I'm just here. I will be your father figure. Put your tiny hand in mine. Oh, they're gonna be a night! Oh, here, except to send May. She was taken to the surface. Let's hope they can find a May out of this. Is it? We need. Uh huh. Pebbles of Doom. Yes. Oh, that might hurt a little bit. Lots of Star Wars references in this season. I love it. Yes. I know Daisy's like dead with this shit now. Ozzy. Oh, now make out. Doctor Who references. Oh! All right, you're, you're, you're a mess. Let's keep it moving. I think I couldn't love them anymore, and then they say that. Oh boy. I'm here if you need me. I got you. Me too. Wait, back. Oh what my god. Splitting up? Yeah, what if this is why Enoch point. didn't we'll mention them before? The forget what the hell all this is about. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm worried about them now. Fuck. Oh, this all got back together. Don't break up again. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, if you guys really are going to go fight a bunch of alien warriors, then you might be interested to know that in the past, I had to create a shield tech in a wall on the base. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Turbo. Where? Level three. Level <laughs> three? You mean that level infested with aliens that suck your blood? Why was I... So <laughs> I've traveled through time and space to find you. I think we're moving past that bit a little bit too quickly. Turbo, turbo. Expect anything less. She has a gunshot wound and he can still be so sassy. Oh, their friendship. Oh, fuck if anything happens to them. Oh shit. Oh yes, he's like, oh, sneaky little side eye there, though. You're fucked now, bro. <gasps> oh shit! I love it. I was really hoping you'd do that. I love it. literally becoming like one of my absolute favourite characters this season. Make out, why not? Think how lonely your father will greet us when we 
avenge my brother's death and uh, bring in the destroyer of worlds. Everything we've ever wanted will soon come to bear. Wow. That was a great scene. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. This is a great scene too. For fuck's sake, just let them make out. Or just let them get married. Let's get married now, sorry. Say it! Oh shit. I've waited such a long time to see you again. <gasps> oh shit. Oh man, that was so good. And um, that flew by. I cannot believe when that ended. Um Wow. This show. Ugh. Um God. Right, obviously seeing Fitzsimmons together, amazing. I mean, I would have liked more, but there's a lot going on, I understand. Um, there's still time, um, but their little moments together was adorable. I love those. Um, I love, however briefly, we got most of the team back together. Obviously, May's still separate, but that was great. But obviously, they've been separated again, so I'm very, very nervous about Mac and Yo-Yo now going off with Flint. Um, but Flynn's really cool. I really like him. So I'm interested in seeing where that little story's going to go. Um, and obviously the whole pairing off with like May and Enoch. Those two were really funny together. And I believe that was Robin again at the end. Maybe as an old woman. So that should be quite interesting to see as well. Like, it's just the, unpre um, the unpredictability of this story is why I'm enjoying it so much, I think. You think it's going to go one way, and then it just completely changes around. Because, um, you know, Cassius isn't as weak as you may have thought he would be. And um, This show's great at having a villain, and you think their story's going to go one way, then they just do like a complete 180 with them, and they do something really unexpected, and I love that. And... I'm really, really glad Cassius wasn't actually killed by Gemma in the last episode. Because I thought she'd sliced his neck, but apparently it was just his cheek. So I'm happy with that, because that means he's still around. He's one of my favourite characters this season. He's so interesting. Um, the actor is just so good. And seeing like the arguments with his brother in this one, and then him ultimately like killing his brother, and him to Nara, like the ultimate kind of badass evil team um I love it and the actress who plays Sonara is really good as well I'm very excited and very hyped for them to you know potentially chase after the rest of them to the surface um I do feel like this storyline is starting to come to a head because I believe they are doing like the three like pods of story arcs like they did last season um I'm, I'm kind of getting the feeling like this is like starting to wrap up um, I did also like seeing Deke again, however briefly. I love that they're just like not trusting him, they've learned their lessons, stuff like that. That's really cool. Um, I do feel like maybe he's going to redeem himself at some point. And I hope that um, the team are going to be able to find May now and reunite with her. But yeah, really well paced episode. Really well balanced as well, there were moments of humour in there. Um, mainly at poor Fitz's expense. But we had like the dramatic moments, you know, Mac and Flint, their talks, and Mac being kind of a father figure-ish kind of to Flint. Now um, that was all really cool, and the whole drama with the, you know, Cassius and his brother. Um, there's a lot going on, but it's being handled just so so well, and that was such a good episode. Um, together on it all, I really like how that came into play. So I kind of felt like it was a parallel at first, 
you know, Fitz and Sibbons and the rest of the team together or not at all. Then we had that scene with Cassius and Tanara, like he was begging her together or not at all with them as well. But then by the end of the episode, it's kind of the same. They are sticking together. So I really like that. Again, it's just the writers doing something unexpected. Um, yeah, I feel like we're definitely heading into like the end game of this story now. Um, I could be completely wrong about that. This could take up the whole season, but I don't think it's going to. Um, I feel like there's another like two or three, maybe four episodes left in this story arc. Um, and then they'll probably go back to Earth and something will happen. But for now, an amazing episode. This season's just been so great. Um, wow. Wow. I'm very, very aware I spend most of my reactions just telling people to make out. <laughs> it's a weakness with me. But, you know, honestly, I do well to not just have my reactions be 100% Fitzsim and stuff. So, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm loving this show. I'm loving where it's going. Um... I'm loving Cassius, I'm loving Fitzsimmons, I'm loving May. Um, Deke's kind of growing on me, but he's still a bit of a Deke. Um, yeah, great episode. I loved it so much. Thanks for watching.